Are you tired of feeling stuck in your writing? Do you struggle to find the consistency you need for your goals? Well, you're in the right place. So take a deep breath and get ready because today I am going to show you how to build a writing schedule that works for you. In this video, I will guide you through the process of creating a writing schedule that aligns with your lifestyle and helps you achieve your writing goals. From setting SMART goals to tracking your progress, I'll equip you with the tools and the strategies you will need to find consistency and confidence in your writing practice. Let's go. Before we dive in, welcome to my channel. My name is Brenda Lynn. I am a Canadian author of children's books, as well as the debut Christian fantasy novel, Ember in the Mist. You've probably heard that writing every day makes a good author. And the truth is, that's not the case. There is a better way, a way that works for you. We want to build consistency. And to do so, we need to talk about setting SMART goals. SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. This is important because, let's face it, one size does not fit all when it comes to writing. Trust me when I say it's not about writing every day. It's about writing consistently and effectively. Writing every day isn't the gold standard. It's about finding a rhythm that works best for you. So let's break it down together. Here is what you're going to do. Number one, choose specific days that work best for you. Number two, designate a writing space or a location. And number three, set aside dedicated times for writing sessions. So here is the month of April in my author planner. And you see these purple blocks over here? These are my designated or scheduled writing days. So if I use this three-step formula I gave you just before, you can see here that Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays are the writing days that I have carved time for to write during my writing sessions. Number two is the location or workspace. And I do this in my bedroom slash office. And I know that when I am in my office space, I am working at my desk, and I am making sure to focus on my writing on those days. And number three is choosing specific times for the writing sessions. And here I've put three blocks because I usually do three sprints. Mondays and Wednesdays, I will do it for 45 minutes. So 15 minutes for each sprint. And I have about a minute to three minutes of a break for each sprint. So in between them. And on Saturdays, I gave myself an hour. And so I have three sprints as well. Um, the first sprint is for 15, second 20 minutes, and the third for 25 minutes to make it an hour. And it also has breaks in between. And so those three formulas have been fulfilled. And this is the first three steps that you need to do when it comes to scheduling your writing. But setting these goals is just the beginning. You need these four tried and true tips that will transform your writing to a wishful thinking experience to a productive writing sprint. That will also provide you with consistency and demonstrate evident progress in your writing. Number one is scheduling your sprints or writing sessions. Picture this. Your writing sessions are like appointments with your creativity. By scheduling your writing sprints in advance and treating them like non-negotiable commitments, you are laying the foundation for success. The best way to set your writing sprints in stone is by scheduling them in a calendar like I did with my planner right here, or you can even do it on a Google calendar. That way it pops up and it's like an appointment. Treat them like important appointments you cannot miss. And honestly, you will see a difference in your attitude towards your writing. The second tip is getting rid of distractions. <sighs> distractions, the bane of every writer's existence. But fear not, there is something that can help you out. 
Yes, I'm sure that you are aware of the advice of putting your phone far away, putting it on do not disturb so that you can concentrate on your writing. But we wanna make sure that this writing time is effective. There are tools out there like the Pomodoro Timer app that can help you create a distraction-free zone that will help you flourish in your writing. I'm just gonna say this off the bat, this is not any promotional video, but I found that the Pomodoro Timer app has been very helpful. I use this app to make sure I am timing each of my writing sprints as well as the breaks all combined together. Using this app has really helped me with my writing space and it's helped me minimize distractions and helped me stay more focused during my writing sessions. I've discovered that making your writing space favorable to productivity by eliminating distractions and clutter really creates a promising writing experience. Which leads to step number three, which is create your haven. Whether you're writing in a special spot in your house or you are soaking up the inspiration from a bustling coffee shop, whatever it is, your writing space should be your sanctuary. Whatever your space, make sure to create an encouraging working space, whether at a home, the coffee shop, the library, or even outside. Make it your own. Other things you can do to make your space your own is to use music, or you can put up some candles or use some essential oils, which I really like to do. Whatever you do, you want to make sure to enhance your focus and push out any distractions. And the last tip for number four is to track your progress. You want to make sure that this writing schedule is providing progress. What I do, which goes with the measurable part for the specific goals, is to keep tabs on my word count and tracking my word count when it comes to my work in progress. So I have a tracker that I am using for my current work in progress, which is the sequel to Ember in the Mist. And as I am writing, I can clearly see that the more I write, the more I make progress. And the more progress I see, it becomes a fuel that helps me want to propel forward in my writing. It's important to visualize the progress that you are making because it can be incredibly motivating and help you stay on course towards your writing goal. And having something that shows you how much you are writing, how many words you've reached, and seeing those milestones moving forward is going to be super encouraging when it comes to your writing. There you have it, a roadmap to helping you craft a writing schedule that not only works for you, but helps you thrive. Remember, your writing journey is unique and there is no one-size-fits-all approach when it comes to your writing. Embrace the process, celebrate the small victories, and above all, trust in your ability to find your rhythm. Remember, your writing should work for you, not the other way around. Personally, as a full-time teacher, finding the right writing schedule has been such a game changer for me and I hope it will for you too. As we wrap up, I wanna hear from you. Share your thoughts, experiences, and your writing goals below in the comments. Let's build a community of support and encouragement, one where every writer, regardless of where they are in their writing journey, feels valued and empowered. If you like this video, please like, share, and hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss any new videos that will be coming up next. Also, the resources I mentioned in this video are in the description, so check below for the links so they can help you in your writing journey. That's all for today. Happy writing, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.